Hey y'all, this is William Kennedy with Theatrical Media Services. In today's video, we're going to show you how to do an L620 connector on a 14.3 cable. For this project, we're going to be using the following tools. Your standard stripper, number two Phillips, side cutters, and your standard razor blade, whatever type that you got. So first things first, the connectors. I'm going to give you a little rundown of the connectors. We use Hubble connectors for these, for these, uh, for for our standard here at TMS. Uh, you got the top end of the connector, the back shell. And for the, we're going to do the male today, but also wanted to show you the female. And going to use your standard 14.3 SJOW cable. So first things first, you're going to take the back shell and you're going to put it on the cable. Uh, and on these Hubble L620 connectors, they just have a little hole right here with a little rubber there that you can just shove right through. You just have to make sure you get the strain relief open far enough so you can get it inside. Once you get the back shell on, we're ready to strip the jacket back and get ready to put the, con the wires in the connector. And in order to get this guy back, I'll just have the connector set up like here. And it'll show you that's about as far as we can go. So you want to go a little bit above that with the jacket. And when you're using the razor blade, just tiny cuts, nothing too deep because you don't want to score the connectors on the inside. This is a little bit at a time. Once you get it enough, you can kind of wiggle the wire and break it loose. Once you get that, you can just pull the jacket right off. And when you get the jacket off on the inside, you're going to have your three conductors and then your filler. Your filler, you're just going to take the side cutters and cut it right at the base. Once you get the conductors exposed, you're ready to strip them back so you can get them inside the connector. So on these Hubble connectors, they have this neat little gauge here that you can use. And if I put it up here close, hopefully you can see it. It has insulation and then wire right here. And you can just set the wire right up and then put a mark with your thumb where you need to strip back. You'll take your wire strippers. And when you're using the wire strippers, you want to go with the 14 for the 14 gauge conductors. You just clamp and then pull straight back. And we're going to go with the green first, which is ground. Green is ground always. When you get these connectors, the new ones, you want to separate them in. Get that plunger on the inside open so you can get all the copper inside there. You'll take the wire, slide it in all the way. And as you can see, you can see the copper all the way inside there. We're going to get ready to tighten this guy up, which is clockwise. When you tighten it up, that plunger comes all the way down and smashes the copper. You want to just make sure you get all copper and no jacket, which as you can see, it's all copper and no jacket. Give it a little tug test, and we're going to go to the next one. Black is going to be X always on these Hubble L620 connectors, and Y is always going to be your neutral. So we'll just go ahead and do the neutral next. make sure the plunger is open and you can see it opening when I'm screwing it open get that copper get all the strands in there all the way as you can see right there it's all the way in then you can get your screwdriver tighten it up as you're tightening you can see that plunger smashing the copper you just want to make sure it's all copper and no jacket which it is Right there, you can see. Give it a nice tug test. Then we're going to go to X, which is our hot. Going to open this guy up. Strip him back. Make sure you get all that copper in there. And see, I kind of missed some of the strands. Got them all in there. 
can see that it's lined up nice and good right there. And I'm ready to tighten. Got it all the way down, all copper. Give it a tug test. Now you're ready to take the back shell and bring it up to meet to the connector. And on these, they have a tab right here, a tab right here that you're gonna meet up with. So you just pull it up, line it up, and slide it right in, and it should slide right in. You got the three Phillips heads on the top. Screw those all the way down. Make sure you get them all the way down so there's no gap between the connector and the back shell, and we look good. So now you're ready to take the strain relief and tighten it down, and it's these two Phillips heads right here. And get those guys all the way down. And you'll see the gap will go away. Nice and tight. As you can see, the clamp is really good on the jacket. You give it a nice tug test, make sure nothing's wrong with it. You got your L620 connector on a 14.3 cable. We hope this video was informative. Please leave comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot, guys.